You know, I've been doing this a long time, and usually the number one question I get on a regular basis is, Bill, what kind of gear do you use? What does your setup look like? What is your rig all about? Tell me about the gear, and then what's the best thing I should do? What's the best setup? What is the best gear to use? Hmm. Well, before I answer you, let me just remind you that you're listening to Creative License, and this is my little podcast. Thanks for being a part of it. Thanks for taking uh, uh, a notice of my wonderful sponsors like Electro Voice, like Promo Only, like DJ Event Planner, like uh, uh, the, the Entertainment Experience Workshops and uh, Seminars, and of course, DJ NTV and all the wonderful things they do, including the DJ, uh, D- uh, <laughs> DJ NTV conference coming up in February. I hope I see you there. So... The best rig. You ready? The best rig is the best stuff for you. (laughs) Really. I mean, there are, there's professional equipment out there that makes your job easier. But when I was first starting out, I used the stuff that I understood and I worked it out so I could understand it. I could set it up quickly. I could set it, uh, work it out the way I needed to. Once again, from like another podcast I was talking about, go out and make mistakes. You got to make a lot of mistakes with your equipment because I've seen a lot of guys with all of the best equipment you can buy the most expensive the prettiest and then they go out and they're just awful because they don't know how to use it why not make mistakes on really crappy gear i mean really why go get expensive equipment that you don't know how to use with all kinds of bells and whistles that are not helpful to you go out and find the things that you need to do and then what i really believe when it comes to what's best is start looking at what you're doing and the kind of equipment you're bringing uh, aesthetically aesthetically, um, from the viewpoint of the clients that are hiring you. Don't ask another DJ, do you think this is cool? I mean, it's not too tough to make us think something is cool, right? Uh, Go ask uh, someone outside of your industry and whether or not it would be something that they'd like to see at a fancy party or at a wedding or at a school dance. I mean, different things are useful at different places, right? School dance, they're looking for something different than they'd are at a wedding or at a company party or a corporate event. So what rig should you use? Well, I think first it should look nice. It should suit you and it should impress your clientele. You dress to impress, don't you? Well, why shouldn't your equipment? So get stuff that looks nice, get stuff that sounds good and that you can use and utilize at its highest level, okay? And if you get something fancier and you can't use it at its highest level, then why did you spend the money? Really, why did you waste the money? Um, I still know guys that are DJing, doing really great work using a $20 uh, DJ app on Apple. And they're doing amazing work. And I also know guys that are using Serato and using, uh, 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 using it in such a way that there's not one piece of Serato they don't use amazingly. Okay? Both guys are working. Both guys are impressive. Both guys are very impressive to their clients or to other DJs or to in themselves. What is it you're trying to do? Who are you trying to impress? You know what I'm saying? So get to so lesson number one, go out and find the stuff and get to learn to use it. Learn to use it really, really well. And then make it look as nice as possible because the nicer your gear, the less it looks like a mess, the more money you can make. I was all over the map on that one, but I think you know what I'm talking about. Uh, What do you think? Do you have a one sentence answer on what's the best setup? What's the best rig? I'd love to know what you think. Put it in the comments below uh, or reach out to me. I'd love to hear from people. I'm easy to find. Just Google me on the internet. I'm Bill Herman. This is Creative License and I'll see you next time.